What's up YouTube and welcome back. In my first video I showed you the hardware section of this process. In this video I will show you the software section of this process. I'm not sure what operating system you're using but I'm using Windows 10 so things may differ a bit. Now when you turn your computer on if Windows asks you to format a drive cancel or X out do not format a drive. Windows will not be able to see the data on your shield drive. This is my C drive and my storage drive. There's no shield drive. But the software will be able to see it even though Windows can't. With that said, let's get started. First thing you're going to need is the software to do the job. So let's download Hard Drive Guru. Open up a web browser. I can copy and paste. That's easy for me. You might want to pause it. see this little screen pop up. I'm going to save as to my desktop because it will just be easier to get to. Save it. It's ready to roll. Alright. Here's your cloning software. Let's go ahead and install that. Icon and install. Now you can see all the hard drives on my system. This is my yeah, this is my Plexer. This is my Western Digital. And this is the actual shield hard drive so it's asking you please select source we're doing a clone so the source of the clone is the Nvidia shield hard drive continue now it says please select target now I hope you have enough room because it is a big ISO file it's a 500 gigabyte file. So you're going to need 500 gigabytes of room. Hopefully on your uh, internal drive on your computer. It's faster that way. Or you can use an external. Um, a little bit slower. It's a lot slower actually. <laughs> but it will work. So I am going to put my D drive. You can put it wherever you want. And we're going to name it Shield Image. You can name it whatever you want, of course. Click Save. So we're all set up. Now before we click continue, we're going to want to um, turn the sleep off on your computer so it doesn't go to sleep because that's the last thing you want is for it to go to sleep while you're making a clone. You have to start all over. It will suck. Um, go to settings. sleep 
See, I got mine set for two hours. But you should put it on never. Just to be safe. I guess the screen doesn't matter. Make sure and do that though, it's important. <laughs> okay, now all you have to do is click continue. And start. This process takes a while. Um, the first time I did it, I put it on an external drive as a USB 3.0 drive, but it still took roughly reaching for three hours. It took a long time. So I'm going to let this uh, do its thing, and I will be back shortly. I'm back. It took two and a half hours. But now you got a perfect copy of your shield hard drive. And we're almost ready to transfer it to your nice new fast SSD. But first we have to switch the hard drives. So go to my first video at 11 minutes in if you need to. Then disconnect the shield hard drive and connect the SSD Samsung. Then turn your computer back on. Alright, so now that you have your Samsung SSD connected to your computer, we can transfer the image we just made to your SSD. So open up the cloning software, double click where it says file right here, and direct it to your shield image. In my case it was storage D. Select shield image, open, and now we have selected our source. Click continue. Now I don't have my SSD hooked up because it's in my shield and it's running. So I'm going to pretend that this is my Samsung SSD. So you need to select your Samsung SSD. Now, it should say something like Samsung or 860 Evo or somewhere along those lines. And it'll be 500 gigabytes too. It should say 500.1 gigabytes. That way you know which one it is. And then you have selected your target. So we hit continue. The next screen will pop up. And then hit start. And then you're going to go through that whole process again of transferring the files. You know, it takes two and a half to three hours. When it's complete, X out the program, shut your computer down, unplug your SSD, and put it back inside of your shield. Um, if you need help, you know, putting the hard drive back in just refer back to my first video and uh, you guys are going to be really surprised it's it's amazing fast big difference you're going to love it especially if you have the, you know the slowing like I did mine was really slow this made a world of difference um, I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of questions I hope I covered it I did the best I could this is my first video um Good luck, guys. Um, one thing to note, if this doesn't work out for you, for whatever reason, um, you can just put your old hard drive back in, the original hard drive, and it will work just like it did before you started this process. So it's not going to hurt anything as long as you're careful. So that is a really big plus to this. I put a lot of work into this video. I hope it helps you out. If it did, please like and subscribe. And help me out if you guys have any thoughts on tech videos I could do in the future please let me know I'd like to hear your opinion thanks for watching and have a tech day